I've yet to meet a single person who has not heard or had some appreciation for a Mario game. So what's better than a Mario game? A Mario game that's centered around D&D, that's what. So, hello! I am your DM tonight, that one chick with goggles, and I enjoy Mario and D&D, so I found a way to put them together in this crossover with our first batch of players. You'll notice here on the screen that there are 16 different characters you can play, but five of them need to be unlocked. Every time I get a party to go through here, they will unlock a character for other parties that will follow. With that being said, we're going to get started and we're going to go over all the wonderful characters we have in our roster tonight by going over to the page and seeing just who's playing with us. We have Luigi, Princess Peach, Princess Daisy, Yoshi, and Donkey Kong. All of them have opted to play a mode on here called Veteran Mode, which means that they got their character sheets 30 minutes ago and they're going to roll with the punches. Everybody's level 8 and this game is not going to be easy. So, with that being said, I'm going to give you a little bit of info on the players beforehand and the way they fit into the lore of this totally not fanfiction Mario world I've created that's going to cross over to D&D. Starting off with Luigi. Luigi, Mario's younger brother. They were both raised by Yoshi. They both really have... They both have things in common, but at the same time, Luigi seems to be the more timid of the two. Luigi is more cautious and watches and listens. He's really severe with himself, and he cares a lot about the people around him that he deems as important. Even if it means not taking care of himself. So let's hear from the person playing Luigi tonight, and why Luigi is one of their favorite Mario characters. I'm Adrian. I will be playing Luigi. And I just like Luigi because my brother used to always play the Luigi's Mansion like all the time. And even though he's my younger brother and he was really good at it, I would watch him. And it was fun. That's awesome to hear. Up next is Princess Peach. Princess Peach, everybody knows her. You know, rules the Mushroom Kingdom. Bowser's always after her for reasons that nobody really knows except for, you know, those two. Moving on, Princess Peach is... The face of the kingdom, she's very she's very kind, very generous, she's very good at flattering people, she cares about her kingdom, and she has all kinds of things to protect for more reasons than one. So let's hear from the player playing Princess Peach tonight and why Peach is their favorite character. So, my name's Mackenzie, and I'm playing Peach tonight. Peach has been uh, one of my favorite characters for a really long time, and growing up I fell in love with the Mario Party 2 game. And Peach was my option that I ended up kind of gravitating most towards. And to be perfectly honest, it was it was mainly because A, she's a blonde and so am I. So I was like, ah, relatable. But also in that game specifically, when you transferred to each world, they came out in different costumes. So it was really fun to see the different costumes that they put Peach in. I just thought it was adorable. So I just ended up always uh, kind of uh, going to her as a character. That's awesome to hear. Up next, we have the tomboyish princess, Daisy. Daisy in this game is the tomboy. She's the I'm not like other princesses princess. She is full of conviction. She likes to fight for herself. She has a sense of humor that nobody may probably get. And if you don't prove yourself as an individual worth standing beside, Daisy does not stand by you. So let's meet the character, the person playing Daisy's character tonight, and why Daisy is their favorite. Thanks for the mic, Bard. Yeah, um, you got it right, sister. You are totally there with what I am. I'm all about the action. I'm all about getting it done, and I'm all about getting on to the next one so I can win that too. Thank you very much. It's Jazz. Remember that name. It'll be the one on the podium. Fantastic. And why is Daisy your favorite character? Because it's not difficult to roleplay. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Alright, up next we have Yoshi. Yoshi. Ah, there's so many of them, but there's only one Yoshi that holds a place in all of our hearts. Yoshi with the wanderlust, the person who watches over their friends like newborn pups. But also, the foster parent of Mario and Luigi. Yoshi knows exactly how wonderful and not so wonderful. Both of them are. Their strengths, their weaknesses, and 
Yoshi's no stranger to the finer things in life. Wine, ale, tasty food, a very colorful fruit. And has been known to be kind of reckless. And we'll, we'll find out the extent of what reckless means when it comes to Yoshi. But for now, let's hear from the player who plays Yoshi and why it's their favorite Mario character. Hello, I'm Eric. I'm playing Yoshi. Uh, I, I always remember, I'm um, not sure which game it was, uh, but where you um, get Yoshi and uh, you're riding around on his back and just like love going around, just like sticking the tongue out, grabbing things, eating it. Super or, Mario Sunshine! And then spitting fire or just holding on to it. And I just love going around using his tongue as a weapon. That is fantastic. And finally, our last character, who, not to be too biased, is my favorite male Mario character, Donkey Kong. <laughs> Donkey Kong, a dependable ape who cares about their friends, who gets the job done no matter what, and is just all around a very sweet individual who more often than not tends to get pushed in a, in a direction that makes them seem violent. Let's hear from Donkey Kong as player and why Donkey Kong is one of their favorite Mario characters. Uh, hi, I'm Todd. Uh, Donkey, I chose Donkey Kong because uh, actually one of the first games I ever beat was Donkey Kong Country. Um, quickly followed up by Star Fox uh, for the Super Nintendo. Um, I just kind of figured it'd be fun. I figured he would also be the tank, so, you know... Everyone else is more squishy, um, of course. And, uh, you know, that would be great. Oh, yeah, for sure. Star Fox, the first time I ever prayed to the gamer gods. So, now that we've met all of our wonderful characters, here's the story so far that we're all experiencing together. Princess Peach's castle was destroyed. Again. By an encounter with Bowser. Again. But it's no problem. Toadette and Toad and all their fellow Toadstool individuals work together with Mario to rebuild the castle, and everything's great. In fact, Mario and Mario's friends are so thankful that they've decided to host a celebration for the end time this castle's been built. How many times has that castle fallen down? I don't know. How many times will it fall down later? I still don't know. Is it gonna stand this time? So let's go inside and see what everybody's doing. <laughs> You are all currently inside the foyer of Peach's castle, and there are different rooms you can go explore, but for now, you're all in here, and let's just hear from everybody what they would be doing as they enter Peach's castle, and they are here to celebrate Mario rebuilding the castle once again. I would like to be petting Yoshi. Aww. <laughs> Go ahead and pet Yoshi, Luigi. <laughs> That's uh, purring behind the ego. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah. That's a good sign. First roll of the night. Nat 20. <laughs> I love Yoshi. Right behind the ears. Oh, yeah. That's the fact. Princess Peach, you would know that here in the castle, you have several options for what you all could be doing. You can go to the tennis court as you're waiting for Mario to show up. You can go to your library to go study. Maybe your bedroom if you need anything. Or you want to have a private talk with somebody. You have your kitchen and dining room in case you want to get anything maybe tasty to eat or drink. Other than that, you guys have the whole castle to yourselves. Um, I would be... Princess Peach would be in the kitchen. Okay, so Princess Peach, I will drag you over map. Would anyone like to follow Peach to the kitchen? Kitchen? There's food there, yes. <laughs> okay. Where Yoshi goes, Luigi goes. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so I will put everybody in here and I will say that it wasn't if it wasn't inherent before or shocking, I know. I own no rights to Nintendo or, or any of the art that I'm using in this game. Which is important because of the art that shows up on the next page. It was made by somebody on Animal Crossing New Horizons and I thought it fit the theme of the game very well. 
What are Yoshi? What are DK and Daisy doing? Well, I well I put Yoshi and uh, Luigi and Peach in the kitchen. DK is looking for bananas. There there might be some in the kitchen. Goes to bananas. <laughs> Daisy, are you following everyone in the kitchen? Yeah, because Daisy doesn't lose, so you know she's not gonna be willingly standing in the background ever. She'll just okay. Rotting. Fine. So with, with that, I'm gonna put everybody into the kitchen real quick. I love the I love the saying like uh, where, where people argue over who belongs in the kitchen. Dude, everyone belongs in the kitchen because you know what's in the kitchen? Food. That's what's in the kitchen. Let's all go to the kitchen to get some food. Oh, cute. All right. So, what are you all looking for in the kitchen? Or more importantly, what are you all doing in the kitchen? Um, when Peach's back is turned, my tongue reaches out and grabs a carrot off the carrot cake. Alright, roll me a d10, please, Yoshi. <laughs> oh my god! Alright, Yoshi, please explain to your fellow players what happens to Yoshi. Um, Yoshi changes color to... I have to look it up. <laughs> um, oh, I closed the character sheet accidentally. Okay, um... Yoshi changes. Yoshi changes white. I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so Peach will be gathering up like um uh, one of the uh, packs of icing to draw a design. She turns around. She sees a carrot missing and kind of like looks around. Can I roll an insight check on everybody in the room to figure out where the carrot went? <laughs> roll me with advantage because Yoshi just changed color. <laughs> 22. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. You look around there and you're like, who could have possibly done- Yoshi, why are you white? You've been on Yoshi long enough to know that whenever Yoshi eats something or some other crazy thing happens, that Yoshi changes color. Yoshi ate the carrot off your cake. <sighs> I I will I will gen I will gently place the, the icing down, go over to the fridge, open it up, grab two carrots out, walk over, put one on the cake and then cake and then offer one to Yoshi. <laughs> Yoshi, roll me a D ten. <laughs> he would gladly eat the other carrot. He's like, Oh thank you, that's so um so kind that is so kind of you. <laughs> And um, I, I have I haven't eaten all day, and um, he uh, turns on, <laughs> and I am changing my color too. I love that. <laughs> I am oh my changing God. my color when I draw, and each time I change color. Now please don't eat the ones on the cake. This is for I don't know what you're talking enjoy. about. Keep feeding until he's blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Excuse me, Peach. Where's Mario? He has, he has not arrived yet. You would oh. know that Mario was very busy working on finishing up the castle and had to go take care of some things. He should be here shortly. He should be here shortly. He was finishing up some of the final touches on the castle, which gave me perfect time to finish up the final touches on the cake. So long as all the carrots stay. <laughs> <laughs> Yoshi uh, looks around like... <laughs> Alright, Daisy, DK, what are you doing while well, all this carrot cake debacle is happening? DK is sniffing around for bananas. Roll me an investigation with advantage for bananas. Okay, well, I suck at this, so... Banana check. Oh my god, roll for banana. So, DK, you're you're sniffing around for bananas, and you come to the cake, and you're like, those are some really weird orange bananas. Peace, what do you do? DK's just sniffing the cake. Uh, I will I will hold out a hand and say, wait, 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 I have more, and I will go to the fridge and grab another carrot and offer it to DK. 
sorrow and disgust fills the eyes of DK as he sees Carrot. <laughs> and realizes it is not banana. He like does like he like takes two fingers and like puts them up and then like silhouettes the shape of a banana. How many carrots do you have in that refrigerator? Uh, enough that I'm tossing this one to Yoshi, and I'm going back to the fridge to grab a banana. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, Peach comes back out with the banana, realizing, it, having been around you long enough, that you want a banana. So, you know, banana! Banana! Da -da -da. He takes banana in sign language, Peach could grow up. Oh. Yay, Donkey Kong. Daisy, what are you doing while everyone's doing their thing? Yo, she's now changed to black. <laughs> I'm currently dealing with some level of anaphylactic shock from the extreme pinkness in the room. Oh knowing my god. That, knowing that it's Peach and this Peach is thin, she's quietly trying to hide her inner disgust at the interior decorating quality, but happily smiling and going, Good job, we win, yay! Yay, okay. Why do I imagine her being like, this is the little like kitchen that's the one that gets kidnapped all the time. And probably looking at the knives intensely and going like, wow, when do we get to use those? Just gently drilling the tension away. It's a certainly good thing there's no more Bowser to worry about. We have a new castle. Yes, and this one will hopefully stay standing. That is, that would be very nice. <laughs> no, I've, I've been wondering for a while, just who is uh, your insurance provider? Yo, she's asking about insurance, I love it. <laughs> where do you get your insurance from, Peach? You know where I get mine from? I don't. <laughs> Castles why, are hard to why, why it's, I mean, to hey. it's Toten Brothers, of course. Ah, uh, yes. Toad and Brothers. I mean, Toad is very after, alive. After, after all the times it's been rebuilt, did you have a reasonable deductible? Yes. Let's, let's say the deductible is it's very small. Peach, you know deep down that Toadette cut corners to try to make this castle work. Per your suggestion. But everything should be fine. Everything's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. I have as long as you don't get deducted. Okay. I mean, okay. Mario, Mario led it, so it's fine. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's like no confidence from anybody as soon as I said that. That was amazing. Everybody's like, oh my god, oh. I was like There is this there is this sigh of understanding as everyone in the room is aware just how effective Mario is at what he does. If you play as Mario in a future game, you'll understand why I say that. But so you're also like, ah, oh, Mario. And as you all just sit there thinking about that for a moment, the comment Peach made, Toad comes in. I also apologize in advance for any voices I do that sound absolutely horrible. I'm not gonna try with Toad, I'm sorry. <laughs> Toad walks in. Princess, princess! I have I feel like I have to do a voice. Okay. Princess! The tennis court is finished if you want to go play on it. Oh fantastic. Let us all adjourn to the tennis court. Oh my god. <laughs> does everyone does everyone want to go play a game of tennis? Yes. Before everybody heads out, Toad's gonna look at all of you with this kind of Roll me inside on Toad real quick as Toad stares at everyone in the room. Why well, everyone leaves the um okay, inside and Toad? Okay, ah! um. Why does this keep doing that? There you go. All right. Is it supposed to be on private or? Sure, we'll go we'll go private. That way, no one's like, why do you have that that number for that skill or whatever? Oh. J just to keep it fun, so so you can describe what your character is doing. Okay, but keep rolling the dice for Yoshi changing color because I forget that he does that. So it's gonna be fun to watch that number show up and watch er Eric's color change. Like, please Absolutely. keep that one public. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Uh, I need a roll from Daisy and DK for Toe giving you this weird look. Uh, what role do you need? Insight on Toad. Alright. 
Do I get advantage because it's Toad? Yeah. Y you know Toad, so yeah, yeah. sure. Ooh, metagaming, metagaming. All right, so um, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Donkey Kong, you all notice that Toad is trying to, like, see if any of you are really who you say you are. Yoshi, you don't get why Toad's sounding so crazy. Peach, you know that... Peach and Luigi know that Toad is notoriously paranoid because the castle keeps being destroyed so many times. Bowser keeps kidnapping Peach. So whenever Toad sees somebody come by, he's trying to figure out if you are who you say you are. <laughs> Gives a look, nods their head, and just walks out in front of you. You'll see lingers behind everyone else when they have to go to the tennis court. Goes over to the refrigerator, opens the vegetable door. All the carrots. All the carrots? How many? Uh, let me roll to see how many carrots Peach has in her fridge. <laughs> On a scale of this many to this many, how many do you have in your fridge, Peach? Uh, probably on a scale of like. You had three left. Yeah, that's Yoshi took about right. <laughs> <laughs> So you run off with the last three carrots, Yoshi, going soon, very soon. All right, Yoshi, you changed color again, and as you make your way to the tennis court, everybody sees that Yoshi's changed to the color... Green. Green. <laughs> All right, I dragged you guys over like this by default. If you want to change sides, you can. As All we right, arrive so at the everybody... tennis court, I want to lean over and whisper to Luigi, Does... Is that normal? That he changes color? Luigi, you would know that, that Yoshi does change color quite a bit whenever they eat food. Oh, yes! Hundreds of times per day, even! Well, it's good to know it's not, um... It's not like a bad reflux for something, thank goodness. It's okay, if he throws up, I'll clean it up! <laughs> Always You'll the reliable the... Mario, brothers. <laughs> You'll see the mood ring. <laughs> Yoshi the mood ring. Yoshi gets angry, just turns bright red. Gets sad, turns blue. Aww. <laughs> Excited, turns pink. Oh gosh, alright. So, if you guys want, um, we'll say for the state of the mind that you guys can play tennis, and you will use either your strength bonus, your dexterity bonus, or your intelligence bonus, whichever is the highest for you, to plus your proficiency modifier to hit the tennis ball across the way to somebody else. Alright. So, Toad is going to say and watch because, you know, Toad gives everyone a look again. Toad looks very on edge watching all of you. Don't mind me, I'm just here watching. So, you guys can choose your teams. And then we go in the sections for being teams? Yeah. I'll be right back. You, you guys choose teams. Wait, there's not there's an uneven number? What is Yoshi yeah. and I going to do? <laughs> How about I ride Yoshi and be one person? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Teamwork. You did, My you did get that noisy. Animal handling check, so it's possible. Yeah. And then true. also your camouflaged. No one can tell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, so it's these three versus these two. Uh <laughs> okay. Uh it's three V three. Donkey Kong Donkey Kong counts as two. Okay, I was gonna say I could I could give Team Daisy Donkey Kong Toad if you want. So Toad can hit things with you. Can, can we hit Toad? 
Uh, Please don't hit Toad. Can I be the ball? Come oh my on. god, no. Toad cannot be the ball. That's not allowed. Can, Toad is not the ball. He can roll in tight. He can roll in tight. Come on. Oh my god. Toad's gonna... Toad's gonna... With, with how, like, Daisy's looking at Toad so intently, Toad's... With his really high perception is just going to make their way out and say he's going to uh, go take care of this or that. <laughs> and Toad is gone. Daisy, you scared him. <sighs> That's one defeated. Anyone else want to go? Oh yeah, Donkey Kong is large, you guys, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> well, it's hard, to hit that. it's hard to hit Donkey Kong over the net, so. Oh my god. <laughs> So you're saying I can't fit him in my mouth? Well, I mean, do you want to try to try? <laughs> you want to roll? I was watching your mouth about it too. All right. Uh, so, um, do you guys want to try to just like toss around a, or, or or hit a tennis a tennis ball back and forth? Sure. Okay. So for that, I was going for an animated mushroom. All right, I need I need a team captain from each side to volunteer to um, roll to see which one goes first. <laughs> that means yeah, you do. Okay, cool. Okay, so me. Both of you Pink roll a first one to see who goes first. Roll what? Pink versus proper. D twenty. Peach's team goes first. Did mine come up already, or? Yeah. yeah. I did. Daisy says seven. Peach says twelve. Okay, so Peach, again, you you guys can use your strength, your dex, or your intelligence to plus your proficiency bonus to hit the ball across. Huzzah! All right, and we'll say okay. So whenever you volley the ball across, if somebody rolls more than you, they can hit it back over. If they roll less than what you rolled, the ball whizzes past you. And they get a point. All right. So each, you have the ball first. So go ahead and roll with your proficiency bonus and your stat of choice. Got it. I'll go with my dexterity. Okay. 17. Who are you hitting it towards? Daisy. Daisy. Plus proficiency too, I would think. Would just... Yeah, plus, plus, plus proficiency. So everyone gets a plus three. <laughs> That did, that didn't go private, unfortunately. <laughs> Next deep ball of Luigi misses. Okay, I'll I'll let you roll for that, but it'll be a, it'll be a dexterity check if Luigi misses. <laughs> I meant to be private, but I guess I guess you're you good. Did. That's hilarious. It's okay. Wow. All right. Wow. So so and I was too far with Toad. With your plus three, Peach, you rolled a twenty. So Daisy, choose your stat of choice and add the. Add the modifier plus your proficiency bonus, and then hit the ball back. Ah, oh, thank you. I forgot about that. All right. <coughs> Excuse well, me. Well, Daisy only knows one type, which is strength and arms. So. Ooh. There we go. Okay, you hit it back. Peach has a really good swing on her. Which armor are you using, Peach? Because you are ambidextrous. Uh, left arm. Okay, so with with the left hand strike, Peach volleys it over, and Daisy volleys it back harder. And who are you volleying the ball towards? Daisy. Uh, I'm gonna aim for Luigi. All right, Luigi. Luigi, Sorry. roll, roll, uh, roll to hit the ball. Can are now are we in D and D version? Or are we just like video game version right now? We're just playing. I mean, if you guys want to add a spell to it, you could. <laughs> so <laughs> Luigi is, I guess, sitting on Yoshi. On his <laughs> back is a vacuum, and he's going to pull his the vacuum nozzle out, and then start trying to suck the ball over to the vacuum. Okay, roll to suck. <laughs> Alright, the ball needs to make a strength save. What is the strength save on this ball? Well, to be fair, Daisy is pretty strong, so... Let's, let's make it... 
Let's make it your proficiency bonus. The ball has your proficiency bonus whenever you volley over the ball, so... The ball makes the save. Okay, so... <laughs> do I at least get it to arc closer to Yoshi? Um, let's see. Yoshi, roll me a dexterity check to try and catch the ball with your tongue. Uh, GM skill. Yeah. So, Yoshi goes to get the ball, and the ball hits the side of Yoshi's tongue, and Yoshi looks very upset. And the ball rolls behind you, and Team Daisy and DK have a point. I will pick up my dress and run over <laughs> and grab the ball, and then pick up my dress and run back. Alright, you toss it back. You toss it back over to their side because they got the point. Daisy, DK, who is hitting the ball first? I'm gonna let DK do this one, I think. I think he's sheer size alone needs to have an impact. Alright. DK? He's gonna go up a little bit tighter on the net and do a little bit of the whole picking up your dress to Peach. Oh my god. Do you know how to play tennis? I still hit pretty yeah. hard. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Go, go, just let it go. Just just let it go. Alright, so DK volleys it over. Who are you volleying that towards? Luigi or Peach? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to, like, I don't know, go mid. Okay. So, Luigi, Peach, both of you need to roll to try to get the ball. Luigi. DK's just warming up, so the ball is going, isn't going as fast as you were thinking it would because it's DK with a racket in hand, and you're like, oh, oh no. So would we roll, like, initiative or deck saves to see who, who is able to get it? Just roll the, roll the, roll the way you would to try and hit the ball, and whoever has the higher will hit the ball, unless, unless you guys roll lower than an 8. Okay. <clears throat> Luigi goes for oh. the ball with Yoshi. <laughs> Just, yeah, and then falls over with Luigi, just piles into the tennis court, and Peach just volleys it back. <laughs> Peach, who are you volleying it to? Uh, it, it's gonna go to Daisy, but I, hearing her comment about the dress, because it's center and not towards me, I pick up my dress with my right hand, and I hurry over, and then I hit it with my left. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> who are you hitting it towards, Daisy or DK? It's going towards Daisy. All right, Daisy. So go ahead and roll to hit it back over there. Okay, well you did. It's it's an eight. So, Daisy just beat an eight. Beat an eight. Just looking for a check. You hit it back with ferocity. Who are you hitting it towards, Luigi? Roll me to get up uh, as the ball's being hit that way. So me. Yeah, 20. just roll, okay, roll it like acrobatics to get up. Aerial lob. Scatter. I'm gonna try and smash it in the air to show how strong and superior I am and stubborn. And then it in the air. I'm gonna just like stare. You know, it's a game. You need to win. Alright. Yo, Louis, get up in time and you help Yoshi up. Um. <coughs> So, which one of you is going to hit the ball as Daisy lobs it over with a 16? Who's closer? I guess would be the question. I think it might be no. you, Peach. Because yeah, Luigi just got up. There. Yeah. Oh, if it's, if it's going right there. If Luigi doesn't look like he's getting up, Peach will pick up her dress and run over. But if he looks like he can get up and get it, then... She would let I'm still sitting on Yoshi, so it's up to Yoshi. <laughs> oh, Peach, honey, that dress looks tight. Don't trip. I'm trying to get in my mind. That's what I grab. Yoshi, you are able to get Luigi up with the... Like, you're hearing Daisy talking all this smack, and you get up, you're like, No, Luigi, get up! <laughs> and with that, do I um, grab the ball out of midair? We'll say as the ball's being volleyed that way, Yoshi, you stick your tongue out and you catch the ball and you put it and like you hold it in your mouth and you contemplate for a second the possibility of eating it and seeing what happens. I think it all would say. We'll say, yeah. Roll me wisdom saving throw to, to see whether or not you eat the ball. 
You guys watch as Yoshi kind of swirls the ball around in their mouth and thinks about it and then opens their mouth and then holds the ball out on Yoshi's tongue for Luigi to hit. But I'm. Can uh, I smack it? You can smack it. Just don't hit Yoshi's tongue. Okay. So you hit the ball and it volleys over to who? Uh, Donkey Kong, because I don't know any better. All right, Donkey Kong. Here comes the ball. Hit it back. Did we lose Donkey Kong? He can Perhaps I will hit it towards Daisy. <laughs> but I, you go to hit it towards DK, but but Daisy's been talking a lot of smack, so you go to swing it towards Daisy. Sprints over there anyway. She's not about <laughs> losing these. these <laughs> okay. She's like Dester and Dan Donkey going to go, focus, banana boy. Focus, we've got to win this. DK's daydreaming about bananas. Are you there? Are you there, DK? Wake up. We need you. What? What's that? Oh, I'm going to run back. Ball's coming to you. Ball's coming to you. The ball's coming to you, big fella. Oh, I need okay. you to crack it. Well, I'm going to try. All right. So, no, oh, I forgot. Okay. I'm not used to using dice, really. <clears throat> 15. Here, I'm gonna change the music while you guys play tennis. I think we're down three points. Uh, it's only a point if we miss. So we missed, we missed one save. So they have one point. How did you remember that in that horrible pink skirt? Oh my lord. <laughs> well, you know, the the pink holds Yoshi, power. there's a cake. There's a cake right there. Look at the cake, Yoshi. DK, look at the banana <laughs> behind you. <laughs> yeah. no. Yoshi That's my girl. In the That's my sister. Talk <laughs> smack. <laughs> oh, I love this. No. Question, um, is Peach and Mario married and engaged, or is he still, like... <laughs> no. Peach, what is your relationship status in this game? Do you have anybody you're pining after? Peach is currently single and is not looking to mingle. <laughs> wow. Wow, that, that got, that got serious. That Strong and different. Oh. That is the... Strong and different. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're not wrong, Todd. <laughs> but don't mean, don't mean. Peach in the city, Mark two. <laughs> Who are you hitting? It's number one. <laughs> we, we were all too young. Okay, yeah. DK, who are you hitting the ball toward? Okay, so the, the ball went towards the, Luigi or Peach? Oh, Yoshi's like, kick. <laughs> No, it's cake. That's cake. Oh my god. Roll me a deception check, Daisy. <laughs> roll me deception and Luigi, roll me persuasion because yo you are on Yoshi's back right now. And Peach, roll to hit the ball because L Luigi has to get Yoshi back on track. Great. All right, you you miss the ball, Peach, because DK DK hits it really hard, and you go to hit it, and you're looking over as Luigi's trying to persuade Yoshi. No, no, there's no cake. There's just a tennis game. Focus, focus. <laughs> I'll I'll run. I'll pick up my dress, and run over, grab the ball, and then turn around and hold my dress up and run back, and then All I'll right. toss the ball to Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. Luigi Luigi's been on Yoshi their whole life, so they know they know how to hold on. Oh my just, god. No, no. Yoshi, focus. There's no cake, just tennis. <laughs> There's cake, boy. You know you want it. Change color. I wanna see it. Mommy wants to see color change. 
All right, Peach tossed the ball back over as Daisy and DK hit again. Oh, Luigi. It's a business time. <laughs> Can I do tennis clap start going, Luigi, as he tries to hit it for him up. Luigi. <laughs> trying to suck him out. Luigi. Oh. You're gonna try to psych him out. <laughs> Luigi, are you gonna let it psych you out? Luigi. Oh, Luigi like... gets super nervous. Better, 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 hit better. <laughs> better, 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 hit better. Luigi, Luigi. Daisy, dear, I tossed you the ball. He can't hit it if you oh. don't serve it. Oh, yeah. Is it more? Are we winning by the... Are we won already? Are we won already? Fantastic. No, uh, I'm just changing So I need to roll... I need to roll my stuff. Me? Yeah. Mm, yes, yeah, so go ahead and, and do your roll to hit. Done. Yeah. Oh, um, I like it too. I'm, I'm not going to suck myself out because that's just... Okay. So, who's that going towards? I'm going to hit that into the back corner because I'm getting ultra competitive now and deciding that I like seeing... I like seeing poor old Princess Pinkness drive around right. in tippy toes in a dress. Go ahead, Peach. Go, sweat go, girlfriend, go get it. sweat. Get your Serena on. Great. I will toss my racket from my left hand to my right, pick up, uh, pick up my dress, and run to the corner and give it a swing. Mm hmm. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm gonna tie to chaos. I'm gonna tie to chaos to give it another, to give it a re-roll. All right, go for it. And I think that you need to eat that damn cake, right? You I need to fry. I think that one wild magic, doesn't it? That, cake that is wild magic. So, Yoshi, roll me a wild magic surge as Peach. Tell me who that ball goes towards, TK or Daisy? It's going straight towards Daisy. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, With a I small, there's good. a small glimpse of vindictiveness in Peach's eyes. Oh, oh she's and I do it just to be, just to be annoying, answered. just to be annoying to Daisy. Um, I cast light on the ball as I hit it, and I turn it pink. You have advantage on hitting the ball now, Daisy. What? Advantage. <laughs> um, although you do ball. hate pink, so that would be so flat roll to get it away from you. Just no. All right. All right. Um, so, check my character sheet. Yoshi, Yoshi, oh. Luigi, you watch as Yoshi changes to green, and you realize. I was to green. Okay, so Yoshi blinks for a second. Roll me out on the wild magic table for Yoshi. That's what I'm trying to find. I mean, on roll oh. twenty, is it on here somewhere? I put I put a link to it in, in Yoshi's stuff. Wild magic card. Uh... I see HTTP, but it doesn't actually link me to it. Exactly. Here, hang on. Let me let me just paste it in chat for you. I'm so sorry. I I've, I've never done that before, putting uh, a like a 100 thing table in somewhere. So, just paste that and uh, roll for me. <laughs> Continue. Um. Oh, I okay. It's uh, so I roll the D one ah 100. Yeah. And then. We'll find some Mario way to, to spin Yoshi's Wild Magic Surge. Alright, so Daisy, Peach just lobbed the ball towards you and with the bright pink light. What you doing? I'm... Oh. I'm gonna cast Spider Climb on the net. I'm gonna go up and net. try and strike the ball from the top of... Oh, I imagine there's a net somewhere mm -hmm. along here. Yeah. I feel for that a little bit, is there? Here. I'll, I'll draw a line for I'm it. Right I'm gonna cast Spider Climb. Okay. In Fury, and I'm gonna try and hit it back, but I'm gonna try and hit a hard damning thing so it bounces up a lot. Because I'm mad that she did pink. That just like, that just, that just seven, seven little baby birds in my mind just all had their necks broken. It was just Fury. All right. Well, it. while you roll to hit Yoshi, what happens to you? I heal five hit points every round for the next minute. Yes! Oh, awesome. 
So, Yoshi's fine, Luigi. You get, you get the sense for being on Yoshi long enough that something weird is about to happen, but Yoshi's fine, and you let out a sigh of relief, just, oh, thank god. No, lucky it, I can only be worked on my things, right? Yeah. Okay. For, yeah, for you. That's, like, the best way to describe it. Lucky's for you. Okay, so Daisy, you miss, but Donkey Kong, if you want to try to catch it, you can. Oh, oh yeah. yes. The spider climb. So, uh, what do you want me to climbing up on the net. After I've uh, missed it, I've, like, I've yelled out my little phrase, like, Hey! Well, what what you'll do is you'll roll, I guess, a dexterity to, to try, uh, some kind of dexterity check to try to grab the ball okay. and then put it into, and then and then use okay. it the way you're asking to. I suck at that, so. So you all watch as the ball whizzes past Daisy, and DK goes to grab at it, but just misses, <laughs> and Peach and Luigi have a point. <laughs> hey. All right, so <laughs> I'm gonna John McEnroe. I'm gonna John McEnroe the bard a little bit and go. The ball was in. Ooh. <laughs> There's... And then huff, and then huff back in my own quiet little tempestuous. All right, DK, sulky, toss sulky the mood. toss the ball back to Daisy and Luigi. Wait, I... so it's my serve? Oh, the ball was passing. You didn't actually catch it with that save. Okay. Yeah, so it you, just you guys missed the ball, so it, but now it's there, sir, because. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll grab the ball and toss it back. Yeah. I think you're still leading two to one, though. Yeah. yeah. I'll toss it to Luigi. All right, Luigi, Peach gives you the ball, and you feel like you have to. You have to do good. Peach is looking. What are you going to do? I am going to serve it. A Donkey Kong. All right, DK, the ball comes towards you. Luigi just volleys it over, and you feel like this should be easy. Go ahead and try to hit it back. You hit it, just whoa! <laughs> Who are you hitting it towards? I'm gonna launch it towards Daisy. You're gonna launch it towards Daisy. <laughs> DK Lavalli's the ball, and as they do I it, I don't just... understand. This is a game. <laughs> DK looks over toward Daisy and just volleys the ball at Daisy, leaving Luigi and Peach looking kind of puzzled. Pete, Daisy, roll me to see if you notice. <laughs> what sort of roll do you want? An intelligence check or uh, perception to see if you see DK hit the ball toward you. I'm tempted to let it just hit me and then literally. Give him bananas in places the sun doesn't shine. Daisy, you are your eyes are all over the battlefield. You are intently focusing. DK is aiming that ball right towards you. I'm gonna give you a chance to hit it. Oh. I am so livid that I'm going to hit it back over the tank. And after a roll, but I'm gonna pull it straight. And go, a monkey shouldn't play the game for real champions. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> you crit the. You see DK pull this and you look over. Combo and with that. <laughs> DK, DK hit it just hard enough that, that if you shift your trajectory, you can get a really good hit it and then get, and then get at DK for doing that. And because it's a natural 20, Peach. Luigi, that ball whizzes past you and just magical magical orange flowers just just burst out in your wake and you can't find the ball and by the time you do, you've already lost the point. I'm going to start twerking at the net to Daisy to um, Peach and go that is how you save the day. Okay. I'm going to blow a gentle little kiss to Luigi and then yell at Yell at Yoshi and go, Are you gonna eat that frigging cake behind you or not? <laughs> Did Daisy have any like anything in her hair or anything like any jewelry? Yeah, she yeah, has her yeah, earrings yeah, on, her crown. her yeah. gem on her on her top, and then her tiara. Why do you ask yeah, I if she... take the tiara off with my, with my tongue? Let me see if you can reach with your 30 foot tongue. <laughs> Hang on, let's see. Oh, you can just yeah, reach it. <laughs> you can. 
go ahead and roll an attack on it. Just <laughs> but um, um... Roll your tongue attack. Oh! Okay, so as so as you stand there giving Peach giving Peach and Yoshi this talk, Yoshi gives you this look, turns their head, and goes, but um and one second you see the tongue whizzing whizzing across the net. The other second your head feels lighter and there is just a, a tiara hanging off of Yoshi's tongue. I think I'm gonna sit in the corner a little bit and insult that I've just been actually assaulted by a dinosaur <laughs> in, in the facial region. I will, I will walk over and be like, Yoshi, that is very rude. We're trying to be sportsmanlike, and I will hold out my hand and be like, please give it back. I open my mouth and then that didn't the ground fall out. I'll catch it. Yoshi just goes, but um, it just goes, ding 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 ding. ding, 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 ding. Oh, here, let me. Can I vacuum all the slobber off of it? Oh. All right. So, who's gonna go deliver the crown, ba the tiara, back to Daisy? I will because I love annoying her. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I will pick up my dress as I do so. <laughs> so I'm, Pete I'm picks up her dress. I'm gonna... Go ahead. I'm gonna sportsman hug Peach because she's such a good sport. Just do a lean in and do a gentle hug. And as I lean in, I'm gonna go. This is a wonderful thing you've done, but I will still beat you. Oh, I will. I will uh, give her kind of like that sportsman, the sportsman side hug, like she's doing, and um, gently put the a tiara in her hand and say, "I'd love to see you try." And I'm I'm gonna go, but you do look fantastic in that dress, girlfriend. You are rocking that dress. Thank you. Yours as well. I will also let you know, Peach, that the that the stone on Daisy's dress, like the one that complements yours, is a stone that you actually gave to Daisy. That Daisy just just painted green to match her aesthetic because the one you gave her was pink, and she went, "I like green better." No, stop it. <laughs> I am glad that you changed that color. Looks great on you. And I'm also going to look up over to DK and say, "This is what being a team's about. I don't need you to share me the ball, big fella." That way. Do it that way. Think of it like a barrel. Straight line. Straight line, big fella. As she gets about, like, just towards the end of her conversation, Peach is gonna reach up and, like, gently put, like, a single gloved finger against her lips and say, <laughs> Daisy, we need to be a little bit more sportsmanlike to at least the people that's on our team. You're allowed to talk shit to me, but not to your partner, and then I will pull my hand away. I'm gonna lift I... the net back up so she can be a princess and get under it with, you know, dignity and pride. I will say, pretty, as 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 all that is happening, you're having this tender exchange. Luigi, you notice it before anybody else because you're Luigi, and you're immediately cringing at the thought of it because you don't like this person. You don't like either of them. You watch as Wario and Waluigi make their way onto the court with Toad behind them trying to tell them to stop. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Waluigi walks over and starts to immediately hassle Luigi and Wario throws a wink toward Daisy. Actually, Wario w would hassle Luigi Luigi would wink at Daisy and start, start kind of like striding towards her, like big 1950s cartoon bend up at the pelvis, trying to be all suave to Daisy. Oh. Yo Yoshi tries to look in intimidating to Wario as he just walks over, motorcycle helmet, motorcycle vest, walking over with this giant lance at his back, going up to Luigi. Up, Luigi. How you been, buddy? Good. Where's your brother, Luigi Mario? <laughs> Mario is in the home right now. Oh, did Mario finally abandon you because you're so irritating? Oh. Oh, this is my sad face I make when I'm sad. Should I make a wisdom says against vicious mockery? <laughs> sure. While Luigi, in the meantime, is gonna walk up to Daisy and Peach, just kind of like slide over, kind of like he's in tap shoes, just goes, Wah! 
AZ Peach, how are you doing? I believe it's time for you to leave. Alright, where? We just got here, where? Yes, and. I'm gonna scream at him. You're on the court. We're playing a game here. Is that how can... constricting your brain flow? Where? I can play a game with you. Mingle. I can play a game with you. Donkey Mario... Kong, do you want to use this little blue fella as a ball? <laughs> Mario is going to start to, uh, start to, like, poke Yoshi's nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, Yoshi! You change color. Where's Mario? Where's Mario? Change color. Do something funny. Don't you that? Oh, 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 Mario! Back off! I'm warning you. <laughs> I want you to do that. Oh, oh my hat. God! Yes, go for the hat. <laughs> you go for the hat, and let's see. Waluigi's going to try to roll. Uh, roll a. We'll say it's kind of like like a grapple check to try to grab your tongue to stop you. So, uh, as you fl as you fling your as you as you let your tongue out to try to take his hat because he's being really mean to Luigi and that's your baby. How dare he? He's going to try to try to grapple to take your tongue and stop you. And he does not just kind of like it's it like wraps around his wrist, goes for the hat, like unwraps around the wrist, and you you just have the hat in your mouth. I hold on to it. Um, I don't know if I can hold on to it long enough to make a fire, make a fireball or not. But oh my god! So <laughs> Wario's like, "Hey, you stupid! Give my hat! Stop it! Give it back! Give it back!" Uh, Toad is going to um. We'll run over and like try to like grab Waluigi's pant leg and go, Wal Waluigi, please stop! They're having fun. I'm having fun too, right, Daisy? I'll play you any time of the week at tennis, and I'll beat you. You have technique, and so do I. And he gives you like a really like tries to be sly, but it's kind of an uncomfortable wink. I uh, I'm gonna do something to Waluigi. Okay. Does does that hit? Okay, you notice Daisy. You're really upset, and you're trying not to look. Peach is just being trying to be quiet and polite, and just asking, like trying to get him to stop. Behind all of you, I think Luigi would see it out of the corner of their eye and go, "Oh no!" <laughs> and you watch as out of nowhere, Donkey Kong pulls out this giant gun and just shoots a coconut at Waluigi's head. I love it. And Waluigi, let's see, does it hit Waluigi? It it hits Waluigi just like boom. Ah, what the? Oh, you freaking ape! What was that for? I'm just trying to have a good time and talk with them. He so. just like pounds his chest and like looks at him like menacingly. Being being the being the lady that Peach is, she's going to say, well. All right, if, if you won't leave, um, we shall, because we have a game to play. And she's going to pull, out of nowhere, a parasol and turn her back to, um, turn her back to Waluigi and open it in his face and then start pushing Daisy forward. <laughs> Just... All right, so Daisy, you two... Daisy's going to be frustrated that she can't accidentally land, land a headbutt straight into those giant eyebrows, but will follow Peach's womanly example, Mar despite her better instincts, because she tries occasionally to be pretty tough. She would lead you to be on the other side of DK. Yeah, I'm Mario. still gonna try and, like, death stare and, like, threat do the whole if you come near me, I'm gonna separate your forehead with a headbutt, but I'll walk away. Mario yeah. is going to, to roll to intimidate... Yoshi to give him back his hat. I need you to roll me an insight back on it, or yeah, sight to try to resist Wario's intimidating stare. Uh, w Wario's given you some really nasty looking eyebrows and holds their hand and says, "Give it back." 
and your mouth just, your jaw just as instinctively just drops and it falls into his hand. And Wario very frustratedly fixes the hat on his head and just starts to like walk off. By the way, guys, for all intents and purposes, Waluigi's built like an elf. Wario is built like a dwarf. <laughs> Love it. Love everything about it. <laughs> Wario just starts to just kind of like awkwardly like, ho like hobble away. Up to Waluigi, just upset, and Toad is trying to be polite, just like, Please, please, you need to leave the prince. They're just trying to play a game of tennis. Everything's fine. Can you just maybe, I don't know, not his be hat, here and go? His hat wasn't vacuum cleaned of uh, lava. Uh, Wario doesn't care. Wario's just pissed off and walking away. Wario's like, ugh. Gross. <laughs> Wipes, like, like Wario, <laughs> Wario, Wario, after realizing that Justin, their hat that is covered in Yoshi slobber, just rubs it off on Luigi, on Waluigi's leg, just like, eh. <laughs> Waluigi's like, no, hey, hey, I'm trying to look good in here, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, while that's all happening, uh, you're, you're, you're all just, like, baffled by everything that, you're like, Y y you've dealt with Wario and Waluigi for quite a bit, and Toad turns around and just yells, Mario! Mario just strides out on the court and just looks at Wario and Waluigi, and then with a thumb motions them to leave, and Wario tries to do a standoff with, with, with Mario to like try to like, I'm not going anywhere, and they have this standoff. And Wario just looks away and, and like, while we do by the hand, just like yanks him and they both just leave. <laughs> and Wario will just look over at all of you and go, Hello, it's me, Mario. Mario! Where have you been? You've been missing the party, Mario. He looks at you and just like, rub he rubs the back of his head and goes, Ah, yes, well, as you see, I was very busy. Something, something happened. I, I, I was attacked, Luigi. <laughs> <gasps> no. Yes, I I was attacked and it was by it was by you know you know the the magic Koopa it was it was ridiculous. Luigi, you're looking at your brother Koopas. and you, you look at him and you feel like you know your brother pretty well. Something's wrong, but he hasn't gotten to the point yet. But also, Mario seems to be in a really good mood. Why is Mario in such a good mood? Mario, are you, uh, did you take your temperature today? Mario feels the back of their forehead. I feel fine, Luigi. Princess Peach, I have something to show you. Makes their way past you. Oh, hello, Mario. Yoshi! Peach, I found this strange thing I need to run by you. It was was very disconcerting to find. What did you find? You see, the reason I was late for the festivities is because I was attacked by Comic. And I found this scepter. A scepter? Maybe go speak in your room about it. Yes, quite. Alright, so Mario's going to walk with walk with Peach and uh I'm going to temporarily take you off the map real quick. Okay. And everybody can possibly... Okay, every, everybody will inside. Peach, you trust Mario, and you know why you trust Mario. So, it doesn't seem all too odd for Mario to find something that he has a question about. So everybody can stand here and talk amongst themselves as Toad with a sigh of relief goes, Well, they're gone. Mario's here. Nothing can go wrong. I'll see all of you inside whenever you're ready. <laughs> Gives you all a, a look over once more. Uh, Toad, before you go, uh, what was uh, Mario needing? Oh, it's it's the strangest thing, L Luigi. Um, Mario found some kind of artifact when when Comet came and attacked him. It was something. What, uh... It was something about Bowser trying to tap into a new kind of power. I don't really know a lot about it. I mean, I've been studying and researching, but, you know, I can only do so much, and frankly, everything's scary because anything could be a trick, you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> this is a very interesting news. I'm going to go over to Peach, who's probably the most smartest out of my remaining compatriots. You mean Daisy? 
Yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> what? What a congratulations on winning a big game. Did, did you notice anything strange just now? Roll me insight, Daisy. Oh, secret or open? Either one's fine. Okay, I'll, I'll do this one. I think. It doesn't seem weird. I mean, Mario's here. Everything diffused. Well, Warren and Waluigi left after they were being weird and scummy. Peach went with, with Mario to go have a private talk. You feel like you know what that means. Doesn't seem too odd. Yeah, I'm gonna hear <laughs> Luigi's comment and probably go, well, to be fair, she was losing to me again. And that kind of is her life. And her and Mario, you know, they have a, they have a thing. <gasps> it, it's unusual that the, there's this ugliness that interrupted our game, but this you is mean that Luigi. She finally said yes to my brother? <laughs> yeah, it was a little odd to me, but it got away from being defeated by me again, so it kind of made sense to me. It's about time those two youngins get together. Oh, I know the Luigi, Luigi, <laughs> Luigi, take inspiration because I almost just spat out my tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, he, he is a big abiding after her for many, many years. <laughs> All right. <laughs> While all that is happening, I'm gonna bring everybody over to this screen. But it's only between Peach and Luigi, Peach and Mario, unless one of you wants to be weird and go eavesdrop for some reason. Why would you do that? They're just having a moment and talking about something secret. It's fine. Yeah, I'm. I'm not cutting no girlfriend's spare time. Okay. Everyone else staying back. Is everyone else staying back? Yep, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna transfer you guys over to that screen real quick, and uh, you guys can just watch watch what goes down. I'll, I'll meet. All right. So Peach and Mario are alone in a room together, and Mario is just kind of pacing, kind of antsy, and uh, pulls out of this bag they have and goes, "Princess Peach, please uh, sit down. This is a very important." Oh, yes, of course. You're the only person for this. Whoop. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, Mario is just kind of sitting there kicking their feet off the sofa because Mario is, is not very at all. And looks over at you. He says, uh, a Princess of Peach, how much do you know about uh, the things that Bowser can do? I know some. I mean, outside of everything that we've seen together, there's been a few other things that I've been exposed to. Why? It's just I have never seen anything like this before. Well, where is it? Let me see it. Okay. So, Peach, you see as Mario pulls out what looks like comics golden scepter with the big red gem at the very top and holds it out to you instinctively you've seen this before and you are not comfortable comfortable being around it i immediately get up off the couch and scoot back princess of Peter, what's the matter just don't don't bring it any closer i have seen what that thing can do and i would prefer not to be near it mario moves closer and holds it up to you what do you mean princess of beach stop you watch it glow and i need you to roll me a wisdom save with disadvantage oh no Uh, wisdom saving throw. That's a 10. Peach, a very familiar feeling washes over you. You felt this many times before. You suddenly feel like you can't muster the courage or the ability to say no. And you watch as what was once Mario that Luigi was aware of. Shoot, hang on. The room the starts to shake. Oh no was once Mario turns into hang on turns into comic
And with the scepter, she motions you closer. And she says, <clears throat> Good. King Koopa sends his regards. He needs you again for something very, very... <coughs> 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 Important. Wait here while I finish the ritual. Don't move. Meanwhile, back at the tennis court. It's been a while and they haven't come back yet. So I, uh, Princess Adesia, how you are doing anything later? Uh, huh? Princess Daisy, are you doing anything later? I'm trying to resist the urge to um, <laughs> Donkey Kong to pick Luigi up off the ground. <laughs> and I'm just working out how I can politely resist the urge to choke him. <laughs> okay. No one saw that. No one saw that. Oh, jeez. No one saw that. As, as you're all... Um, doing your thing and I'm so sorry that I, I totally messed that up please forgive me Can I uh, wild magic. It, was the, it was Yoshi's wild magic oh my god <laughs> yeah, yeah totally Yoshi's wild magic oh jeez okay so um as you're all having that interaction uh, I need I need everybody to roll me a perception check a uh, public one or public one it's up to you I'm a winner. I don't like when I roll critical. Oh shit, son. Yeah. Okay. DK oh, DK. <laughs> Did so, someone say banana? <laughs> so, Donkey Kong, you're not really the kind of uh, individual who talks a lot because you don't really feel like there's a lot you could say that would help. Um, this would help. Toad looks over and uh, hightails it out of there. And as you look past Toad, you see what looks like all of these bad guys just, you know, happen to show up out of nowhere. And I need everybody to roll me initiative. <laughs> Ooh, I assume I'm not quite that close, so I would have seen them. Okay, Yoshi sees it too. Sorry. Okay. Well, I, can, yeah. I, I can move myself away, so. Okay, so everybody needs to roll initiative. I will roll initiative for them. <laughs> it's just the size of the map, but. <laughs> Give them all the same turn. So let's see. No, do we have full access to our D&D classes yet? You're... What do you mean? Like all of the D&D &D abilities? Um, you have everything on your sheet to use for combat. Okay. Get him, guys. Okay. This is the calmest combat music I've ever heard. I'm about to change it, so just give me a second. Give me oh, a second. It. It, it's, it's all like that sort of John Wick thing where it's just all happening. <laughs> you, just you, notice, you notice them like jauntily, you notice them like, like jauntily marching over and uh, it's like, oh look, it's just Koopas and Goombas. Wait, it, 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 it's Koopas and Goombas. I feel like this is perfectly infuriating for Daisy. Like, I feel like she would just hate oh, that I... music. It would just make her even more mad. And she would fight harder. Well, I mean, I've, I've just... Some, these guys have just stopped me winning this tennis game against you, so... You know, this is... This is not acceptable. Okay, so... So they're gonna roll a plus one. Okay. Alright, so they roll a six. That's great. Has everybody plugged their initiatives in? 
we're missing... No, we're not missing anybody, actually, because Peach is in here. Great. All right. Donkey Kong, you are up first. As a bonus action, I will hand OEG a banana and be like, Banana good! Eat banana! And then, banana good in a Mario Kart! And I want to throw it at one of them on my turn. Luigi, I, it's the banana that you need to eat on your turn, and then you can throw the banana peel and see if anybody slips on it. <laughs> That's perfect for me. <laughs> Alright, so, DK, and what are you going to do with your I've, action? As my main action, I'm going to throw a barrel. And then I will give you your sacrifice. Oh, thank God. Okay, so you watch as DK, who had put a barrel aside, grabs it and just chucks it. Who are you chucking it towards? Uh, this one. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, that one takes nine damage, just gets to run to the barrel, and the barrel just kind of rolls back past it over toward the net, about over here. It's just, pa. Alright, are you going to do anything else for your turn, DK? Move closer to barrel. Move closer to barrel. Grab barrel. You can grab the barrel because you're right there. All right. Hang on. Uh, will that end your turn, DK? Uh, yes. All right. Daisy, Daisy, you're up. Uh, Daisy is furious at these imposters coming and ruining her chance of victory, and concerned about where Peach went to as well. So she. She's gonna move up next to next to DK. Um, and I think she's probably going to have a look. Have a good look. I think she's gonna try and daisy barrage them if possible. Okay. Put that in. What cast okay. level? Is it at? My full level, or is it any a uh, art skill? Uh, oh, for you, Daisy, because of your crusher. Yep. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. So. Not, yeah. The crusher was me. Sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah, I haven't put it in yet because it's got. I've got it ready. I just got to pick a cast level for it. Is it my full eight levels, or is it partial? Um. You can look at, at your spell list. I'm sorry, I'm confused on what you're asking. What are you looking at? Oh. Okay. Put it in just then. Okay, and yeah. Just when I, yeah. And when I wanted a spell level, I wasn't sure if it was eye levels and spells. Or... Oh, no, it's just, it's just, um, it works the same as a thunder wave. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm so furious, I'm gonna try and launch a thunder wave into it. Okay. I'm just so ridiculously if... infuriated that they've interrupted the game, and I'm also anxious about Peach. Okay, so you go to hit them all. They need to make dex. They need to make dexterity saves. It looks like. Yeah. Yeah, dexterity. Okay, so they're gonna roll. They're gonna roll their dex saves. Their dex saves are that high. Great. Okay, so let's see. One. Two, three. They all fail because you're hitting these three, yeah? These three right here. Yep, yep. And I'm gonna go like, okay. woohoo! Every time I see one of them, that hit, get hit <laughs> on my finger. All right, and then that does how much damage? I need you to roll me two d eight force damage. Okay. Two, two. All right. So with that, they take that much damage. Um. This Koopa over here that DK had hit um, falls at the sheer impact of flower power. Um, but the rest of them are still standing. I'm going to scream. That's because I saw you somewhere wear pink. It falls. The Koopas <laughs> look at you and they just come back and forth like, bottle, 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 bottle. <laughs> Uh, everybody except for Daisy can understand 
said, like, I don't wear pink. It doesn't match my skin tone. Does that end your turn, and Daisy? That's Emma's Emma turn. Thank you. Yoshi, you're up. For flavor text, Yoshi, Yoshi grabs one of the tennis rackets, shoves it in his mouth, and just holds on to it for a second, for, for six seconds, and then belts it out in a, in a fourth level fireball. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> so let me know where your fireballs aim at. Just, just all of them, right? All of them? The all of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Get them. Right so. Get them. <laughs> Okay, so they have to make a, a DC what a, a dex save of what? Um, fourteen. Fourteen. Damage. Uh... Great, 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 great. Nine, ten. Doesn't matter. They're all dead. <laughs> they're all uh, dead. They all died. <laughs> that's real life, don't. They're all just dead. And as oh. the Okay, yeah. And as there is this moment of relief, we'll say they all died, but then more of them show up. So this is the second wave as well. And they move in closer. <laughs> okay, is, is that the end of your turn, Yoshi? As you just see more just like running forward, just this whole army of them. Um I, I don't know if I want to be in melee, so let me move back over here. You just get away, you're like, haha, no, I, I did my part, you guys figured this out. I mean, but I'm... Alright, so up next is uh, the Koopas and everything. They are going to go for Daisy and Donkey Kong. Does, uh, does Luigi get to go too or no? Oh, sorry, Luigi, yeah. Okay, Luigi. Yeah, you go. I, I got mixed up. Go ahead, Luigi. You do it. We're both green! <laughs> I would like to run over here. So, you are interrupting us! And I want to use my vacuum cleaner and try to suck one up with a lightning blast, sucking it into the vac vacuum. Okay. Roll to suck. Okay, can you make a DC 14 strength save? I guess I would have okay. had to move forward. Can I have climbed on Yoshi and done it from there? For sure. As long as you have Yoshi's, Yoshi's permission. Yeah. Yoshi, does, does Luigi have, have your permission? Uh-huh. All right. So, saving throw, it, it fails, and it just gets sucked into your vacuum. Yay. So... He, he basically no longer exists. Just, pfft. you guys watch as, as as Luigi holding on to Yoshi pulls out a vacuum, just and just sucks the spiny in, and the rest of the bad guys look over like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And that will end your turn, Luigi? Yep. Alright. It is now their turn, finally. Uh, these three are going to go after Donkey Kong. <laughs> these three are going to go after Daisy. And these three... Five... Ten... Just burst through the net, frustrated, and are going to go after Luigi and Yoshi. Okay, so the paracoopa, the paratroopas are going to <laughs> are going to um they're going to try and punch Donkey Kong. So let's see how well that goes. Punch number one. Does that hit? <laughs> DK, does that punch hit? Uh no, that misses. Does that punch hit? Yes. That punch does not hit, for sure. Okay, and the damage on that is going to be... Okay. So, with that... Okay, so let's see. That would be... That is going to be five damage as one of the... So, you avoid, you avoid two of them, look at them kind of confused, and then one just, like, smacks you really hard upside the head. 
Which translates to keep distracting him so I can hit him harder. Uh, <laughs> these Koopas have a plus three to hit. The ones that are surrounding Daisy. Do I get to use my sensitive fate activation when, they, when DK got struck, or is that too much of a game? What would I know? Um, Princess Peach, you play characters that have sentinel feats. Would that be when DK gets hit? Yep. Okay, so go ahead and roll to attack the the, the paratrooper that just hit DK. Uh, which one was that one? The top one? This one. Mention? That one hit DK. She wouldn't be able to reach it. Yeah, I've got a pole arm. I've got a glaive, but I can reach two. Oh, hell yeah. Get it. Get it, girl. Thank you. Thank you, girlfriend. Alright, so there's my attack roll. Should come across. It just hits, and that Koopa falls over flying. Just blah, 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 blah. That's what you get. And I just smile fly. at DK. I smile at DK. Alright. In the, as, that, as that's happening, these two are... Okay, so these three are up and attacking you, Daisy. Yep. Ten does not hit. Natural one does not hit. Twelve does not hit. This one rolled a natural one, so he's over prone on the back of his shell. And the rest are trying to hit at you, and you just look over like... like you're just like swatting them away because you're busy hitting one of them to help out DK. They're not even like a thought in your mind as DK is your focus. <laughs> Meanwhile, the spinies are going to... They get a plus five to hit. And okay, so does a 24 hit you, Yoshi? Uh, yes, it does. All right, a 24 hits. So we're going to do that here in a second. Um, 22 will also hit Yoshi, and then the 12 misses. So, Yoshi, you're going to take... You're going to take 2d8 plus 6. As both of them hit you at the same time, you just take 19 damage as two of them go together and just hit you really hard. The third one misses, though, because it gets bumped by the other two. And with that, we are at the top of the initiative. DK, you are up. Okay, so after being insulted and hit, Donkey Kong freaks out and becomes very angry and then uh, attacks the two nearest Koopas. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Oh, do you also go into a rage? Yeah, yeah. That was my bonus action. I just okay. was trying to roleplay it. All right. So yeah, that sounds good. Um, this one is going to take the eight. So you go and you smack that one, and you smack this one. This okay. So they're both stand. They're both in the air, kind of dazed, and they're not looking good as you just hit them really hard. They're trying to, like, maintain themselves. They're just kind of, like, flying in place almost like they're drunk because they just got hit in the face with a handful of DK slap. Right. All right. Is that, is that in your turn, DK? Yes. All right. Daisy, you're up. You just watch DK get... You just watch DK just slap them both with his big ape hands. Mm. They caught those hands, and they hurt. Yeah, I'm furious. I'm gonna target the one I'm peeing at the moment. Okay. Oh, I'm my character sheet. That hit. That does hit, and this one falls over. Blah, 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 blah. Just falls over on the ground. Passed out on the back of its shell. Right, so I'm gonna use my. I'm above fifth level, so I get a. a bonus. Sorry. Go ahead and roll the hit. Me to... Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going for the one just below it. Okay. So you're trying to hit this one? Yeah, this one. That just hits and it falls over. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm 
I'm gonna and I'm gonna ch chat to DK. That's how you do it, big fella. They're gonna fall. We've got this. We always win. And that'll end my turn. All right. Yoshi, what you doing? Um. Yeah. I don't. Yoshi um cast spell haste on himself. On? Okay. On himself. And then I get um my AC will go up a little bit, and I get another action that can show um I get another action because of haste. So, uh, the second action, he is going to try, uh, hunging the guy, uh, in the middle. Okay. That does hit. Roll me damage and... for tongue. Wait a minute. Oh, I need, no, I need to hit this to roll damage. There you go. Okay. Yep. So, that does hit. It takes that amount of damage. Alright. And then um, I'm going to use Hungry Hungry Yoshi. Okay. And use a bonus action to try to hit the same guy again with my tongue. Alright. <laughs> okay, that does hit roll damage. Get it. Three, <laughs> and then I heal two? What's this? What is this? Okay, I heal Hungry Hungry Yoshi. Um, and then you. It heals. Moment out, then you gain hit points equal to your yeah, and I oh, and I heal two hit points. All right, is that on your turn? Um, yeah. Luigi, you're up. Well, it sounds like it's time to hit some things. Can I will sing on top? of Yoshi, can I flurry of blows and just start swinging the vacuum nozzle at them all and attack Go ahead. Uh, them all? Go ahead. I guess Hold I used just unarmed strength for that. Okay. Those then, hit. then I'll flurry of blows for a key point and do two more. Okay. Those also hit, so that's a total of 8, 13, 21 damage. <laughs> So, I so guess, uh, you watch. Go ahead. Or just, I guess, 50 50. I don't know. Uh, that way it's easy. All right. Okay, so you guys watch as, as Luigi's just like whacking them with a the vacuum cleaner like an angry housekeeper. Back off, back off, back off, back off. And uh, I would like to just jump on and stand on top of Yoshi instead of sitting while I'm doing this. Okay. Yoshi oh. stands on top of you, Yoshi. And um, I'll say that you're used to it because it's Luigi and Mario's done a lot worse. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're not really that bad. You're just trying to like maintain your focus and keep Luigi up. A dinosaur, oh mother, a dinosaur mother job is never done. Yeah, you're like, oh, ta children. Oh, wait, uh, no. kid. You're a girl, Yoshi. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so with that, we're going to go and head over to the baddie's turn. Uh, again, this one's going to try to punch you, DK. Uh, 23 hit you? Uh, yes, that hits me. <laughs> All right, rolling for damage. All right, um, yeah, so... We're gonna roll the. Okay, so that is 26 plus 2. And uh, you take 5 more damage as this Koopa, this paratrooper just hits you in the head. Just bunk! And uh, this one over here, Daisy, uh, in front of you, is going to try and hit you with. Um, also with. Uh... Okay, what can this one do? Yeah, that one's also gonna try and punch you. I'm assuming an 8 does not hit. It goes wide as you just move out of the way. All 
All right, and then these three spinies are going to... Hmm. All right. They're both going to try... Oh, yeah, all three of them are going to try and just bite at Yoshi. Oh. Because you're right there, and... I'll say one of them tries to go for Luigi. Okay, so 14. Uh, that misses. I love this song. I love Mar I play I love playing Mario Superstar Baseball. Not time to 20, cool. A 20 to a 20 to like jump up and try to bite at Luigi. That does hit. Oh, it's that time. Oh no. Uh, that is it definitely hits. All right, and that bite is going to do okay. All right. Can I want Sentinel on this one when I'm pinging because it's attacked within range. Go ahead. You, you take nine damage, Luigi. Okay, noted. All right, go ahead and roll the hit, it, Daisy. With the nat one, that's gonna miss. So Daisy, seeing Luigi get hit, uh, seeing Yoshi get hit, tries to go for it, but the spiny kind of moves out of the way and just and just shoots Daisy a really nasty look. At least it's and, not wearing pink. Oh yeah, but what is pink if not a lighter shade of red? Donkey Kong, you're up. Oh, oh dear, too far. Hurts, hurts. Donkey Kong. Can I bonus action eat a banana? Go ahead. Sweet. All right. Um, and then I will attack the Koopa that is flying next to me. Okay. With these hands, yo. Prepare to these catch hands. these hands. These hands. Oh, yo. Unfortunately, with the Koopas, with, with the paratroopers, they see that just misses both times. Indeed. So All it right. just it flies out of the way of both of your hands and then goes, hey, hey, kind of doing that whole like neener neener thing with their fingers, like antlers and like raspberry at you. Donkey Kong can see the like future deaths of his children as he is just angry as all get out and then. I guess that's all I can do right now. Alright. I doesn't expect me to help me. Daisy, you're up. Mm. Well, I think I'm going to try and get rid of these two in the corner if I can. So we can surround them a little bit more. I can't move that provoking. Uh, that's the first one. That does hit. On the, the outward facing Kufa, the, the Kufa they're called. Okay. Uh, is it still up? Is it, is it 10? It, it, it is still up. It is it is barely hanging on to life. Just, uh, 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 I'll, I'll go. I'll go at it again. Okay. That knocks it down. It falls over on its shell, and then as the shell stops rocking, the Koopa's not moving. And if possible, I want to move over. Okay. Get reach range to all of them now. I should put me in my polar arm to reach all of them, so... Okay, you did move out of this little Koopa's way, so it's going to try to get an attack of opportunity off on you. Heble, it does not work. Okay, is that the end of your turn? Yep, that's the end of my turn, thanks. Yoshi, go for it. Mm. Is DK having trouble with the flying one or not? It's it's kind of pesky. You could go help if you wanted to. I will tongue attack the flying one. Okay. Uh, okay. Did that hit? That, let's see. That does not hit. That just misses. 
So I guess then I you um let's see here what's this? Uh called Magical Guidance, spend one source three point and then you can uh we will do twenty if it's for it's, it's an ability check, that's oh that's an ability check, that's not an attack. Uh, but I have lucky points. Um I can spend a lucky point. I will spend the lucky point to reroll that attack. <laughs> and apparently I'm not that lucky. Okay. Alright. And then and... he will um, spend sorcery point to uh, twin spell uh, firebolt um, at, the, this, at this one and this one. Okay. Roll me to hit. Okay, that does hit them both. Roll me damage. Well, minimum damage. Oh well. Oh no, you're supposed to click on fire. Okay, was that damage? Oh yeah, I guess right. Um, yeah, just click, click on the word fireball. Damage. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. So that one. Okay, so this one to the left of you, in front of Daisy, is down. And this one is barely, barely hanging on. And that'd be the end of my turn. Luigi, roll me a perception check. Ooh. You just, you look around, you're, you're trying to survey the area and try to find out if there's any more. You're not entirely sure. But you do know that you have to get these out of the way because if there's bad guys and the princess is missing, something's wrong. There's still these two though, right? Yeah. So there's those two. I would like to finish them off and use uh, my... I've got Water Whip, but I don't know why Luigi has it. Because <laughs> maybe I don't know the lore enough. So but I would like to do that on uh, this guy down there. Okay. Okay, so Dexterity save for him. His dex is that much. Great. Nope. So that's he 19. And he is down. I guess I just switched settings on the vacuum and a geyser of water and said just like yeah. pressure wash this straight through him. Just pressure wash. Multi purpose. <laughs> Come on, we gotta find uh, Princess Peach! I'll jump off and uh. Let's see, I will. I guess I used my action to do that, so I'm... that's his turn. Alright. So with that, we're, we're down to these. This spine is going to try and, and attack you, Luigi. Uh, okay. That's a hit. hit. Yeah. Alright, so that is 1d8. Let me see, was that the 1d8? That is... Yeah, that is 1d8 plus 3. It's damage. a new problem! 7 damage, as it just bites at you. And he's not Felix, so he can't uh, do the fire attack. So, that's his turn. Alright. And uh, with that, Daisy, this... This last remaining Koopa is going to try and hit at you with a natural 20. Oh boy. That Koopa just up and decks you really hard in the face. So that'd be... I don't know how to do a crit for that because it, it is just 1d6 plus 1 for the punch. So do I just double this? Double the, double the 4. Okay, double the 4. So it does a full 9 damage as, as, as it just socks you in the mouth. It... For you, Daisy, it doesn't hurt as much as your pride is by being decked by a Koopa. Yeah, that's... No, no, that's not the same. And then for Donkey Kong, this remaining... Uh, Paratroopa is going to try and punch you again with a 20. That hits. Alright, that hits, and that is going to do... Alright, a 
that's going to be 1d6 plus 2. 6 damage to, to DK as it just hits you in the face and then pulls out a rock and smiles. Alright, so... Okay, 2 damage. Alright, DK, you're up. And I, I will say, your barrel was right here beside you in case you wanted to get it. Oh. Uh... Oh, I thought you had said I already picked it up. Yeah, I just I, I just hadn't seen you use it, so I was like, you have your barrel, you can use. <laughs> Great. Um. Alright, so I'm going to attack that Koopa once again. Okay. I'm once again asking to attack this Koopa. But this okay. time I will use the barrel, but it doesn't mean anything. Um, not which one the one in front of you or the one by daisy uh, the the one in front of me it, um, it just misses all right well i get an extra attack so i'm going to take my hands and miss horribly okay okay all right so does that end your turn? Um, as a bonus action, I would like to eat another banana. Go for it. Eat your banana. Okay, I will. Okay. All right. Daisy, you're up. All right. Uh, uh, the one that smacked me is like... First of all, as a bonus, I'm literally going to just stare it down. That it probably should just disintegrate, but... I don't know what, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to furiously attack it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Two of them. Okay, this Koopa is down. And I'm gonna do a very unladylike thing and spit on its shell because it smacked the crap out of me. In the hope that Peach doesn't see. Peach isn't here. <laughs> so another, know, another castle. I would have, I would have reflex looked around to see if she was around because she would have been furious at that unladylike. Roll me a perception check to see if Peach is around. <laughs> okay. Peach is definitely not here. <laughs> Yoshi, you're up. <laughs> Alright, um, that flying one is probably easier to hit with my tongue than uh, of a big spiky one. So tongue attack. Mm, Alright. Kind of so let's do another luck point, and there's a 15. That just hits. Roll damage. Six button damage. All right, that one is also down. I uh, pull it into my mouth and then, oh, I was, oh, you saw it off that one. I mean, um, yeah. No. And then um, for the hasted action, I um, bit it at um, the other one that's uh, still up. Uh, and I okay. guess in the form of a firebolt. All right, go ahead and do a firebolt. Uh, I, Goes wide. I don't think that hit. It's all good. I will say, Yoshi, also, if you do kill something, you can swallow it, so go ahead and get that sorcery point back. Oh! <laughs> Luigi, you watch as Yoshi whacks this thing with his tongue, and then pulls it into his mouth. But, um, it's, it's a bit spiky going down, but you're like, mmm, sad's flavor. Good boy, Lu uh, Yoshi! Yoshi! All right, Luigi, you're up. As you watch Yoshi swallow it down. Can I put my hat on backwards, which is, and then it turns white, run over here so I have a line of sight on this guy, and just spit fire at him? Go ahead. Oh, wait, that didn't actually do anything. Uh, I'm so not used to roll 20, I'm sorry. I have to do it from up here. And then 
is this something I can flurry of blows with and I can do multiple ones? Go ahead. Actually, I don't know if I can... Okay. Bonus action. Yeah, I can bonus Ooh. action attack one more. Okay. You... You watch DK as this thing is just, like, is triggering you in more ways than one. As just a bunch of fire... Like, some fire flower petals just fly by, hit it, and it falls over dead. It has burned to death. <laughs> Come on, now, we gotta go with Chicken Mario and uh, Princess Peach. All right, one more time. I want all of you to roll me insight. Luigi, um, uh, Yoshi has haste on him. <laughs> Why are you running off on foot? Luigi, you can ride Yoshi to go into combat. <laughs> Yoshi has haste on him, and you are running off on foot. I'm uh, waiting by the doorway to mount you as you run by. So, Daisy, you don't really, you, you don't, you don't see this, this as connected to Peach, but everyone else has the sense that if there's bad guys, that means Peach is probably not safe. So, you all start rushing inside the castle to go find Peach. And we will say, for the sake of brevity, that you guys get there just in time to see that... Yeah, I'm going to paste you guys over. Get there just in time to see that uh, Princess Peach is... Uh... Well, actually, tell me what you guys are thinking as you're running that way while I get you guys onto this page. Um, really wanting to stop the bad guys and save Mario, but hoping I'm not interrupting Mario's uh, special alone time. You're like, oh no, I have to go let Mario know something bad is happening. If my family gets hurt, that's very bad, and also, if they get hurt, we probably won't be celebrating with cake. You're like, this, <laughs> like, do we have to do this cake is on the line. <laughs> oh, and I ate something. Okay, what did you eat? The turtle. Awesome. Oh yeah, roll to see what, what color you change into. What color are you now, Yoshi? Uh, oh, this is the first time I've been purple. Color as, as, you're, as you're all running that way, you look as Yoshi changes to purple. <laughs> as you all make your way back to Princess Peach to try and save her. I'm disappointed that he's now a shade that's kind of like pink. Like hot pink. <laughs> and I also look over to DK and go, can you get us some more points by picking up some Coopers and chuck them over the side of the net as we... <laughs> oh my number, god. Number seven is we pink. Save I haven't Princess rolled that Twitch. one yet. Let's gain some... Let's get... Good. But leave it that way. Let's just take that out of the door. Let's just load that. Young. Sucker. Donkey Kong sign languages that they're not even over there and the game's been over and how spiteful are you? <laughs> oh. At least <sighs> you, know you all you all make your way in here as you see a portal being opened up. Peach, repeat your wisdom save with disadvantage, please. Oh, that was okay. a natural 20. There is a moment where you look over and you see everyone rushing in and you go to call for help, but then you feel something compel you to look towards Kamek. Princess Peach, the portal is... <coughs> <coughs> Complete, we must go. Come. You're all watching as Peach is following Kamek, who is building the scepter that Mario mentioned, but... Okay, so, you can sit in front of her, it's okay. Can, right, you I, have to swallow, go in. can yeah. I swallow uh, Princess Peach? <laughs> You're gonna try to swallow Peach? Roll a tongue wow. attack. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, you lick more crayons. So. <laughs> you go for that, and Peach Lock. is kind of... Luck! Luck! 
Oh my god! You go <laughs> and you manage to get Peach in your mouth, and Peach, you're in there and you're freaking out. You're not sure what's scaring you more the fact that Bowser's on your tail again, or that you're in Yoshi's mouth. <laughs> Is Yoshi about to turn pink? Yoshi, Yoshi, with Peach in your mouth, I'll say you just preemptively turned pink at just the presence of her in, in your mouth. Because you're worried about Peach. You can and Kamek. Go ahead. I, I, can hear Daisy for, I can hear Daisy from Yoshi's mouth just sighing. Daisy is filthy at the whole circumstance. At, 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 at the whole being friggin' eaten, at the whole being in its mouth, changing color to the same. Oh. Suddenly, the weird, the weird thing controlling us all is not the worst thing in the room. The fuck is this just... I need all of you to roll the initiative against Comic. <laughs> Where uh, is Mario? Oh, that's, that's the Princess Peach! Yeah, that's what uh. you get. You were always stupid, Luigi. Mario was never here. Mario was with Bowser. <coughs> I need to invest oh, I didn't some... have my character selected, so that's why <coughs> I didn't know. <coughs> oh no, not again. Mario is again a captured. DK didn't oh there he is. Alright, DK. Oh, right. Oh shoot, is DK... Okay. Okay, okay yeah, you, yeah, you just select a token. I'll add you to the turn order right now. It okay. shows me as selecting the token right now. Okay, here. I will put it into the same order right now. And there Sorry. we go. Uh, Yoshi, you are up first. You have Princess Peach in your mouth. You can't attack while you're holding Peach unless you want to swallow Peach. What are you gonna do? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, is, is Peach does Peach sound like she's still charmed? Peach is freaking out in your mouth. Is what's happening. <laughs> right, I'll, let, I'll, let, I'll, I'll let Peach go. You let Peach go. Peach, repeat your wisdom save throw with disadvantage, please. Twenty. You're so caught up in being from being in Yoshi's mouth, you're not even perturbed by the glowing white but with the glowing red orb on Comic Scepter. Black. <laughs> Comic instinctively goes, Princess Peach, come. Princess. Oh no. Well it's not foolproof, is it? What are you gonna do the rest of your turn, Yoshi? Um <laughs> let's see here. Oh, Mm. I'm still hasted. Um, would Mage Armor help um, Princess Peach, maybe? Or... Oh. You know what? It worked, it worked well before. Fourth level fireball. I'm sorry if I burned down the palace. You've got good insurance. Oh my god. <laughs> he um, grabbed a chair or something in the room, holds it in his mouth, after I go, and fireball. Okay. Comic passes. Takes half damage. <laughs> Is, however, very um... frustrated. I guess I'm. Am I still hasted? But that's an, uh, an, an action to let her go. Okay, you let go of Peach. Peach, you are no longer held by Yoshi. I don't so think anybody that... wants to ever go in Yoshi's mouth again. <laughs> So that and then uh, I've only used you one action so far, I believe, right? And then yeah, cast fireball for second one. So mm -hmm. I can't cast the second spell though, but I could uh, just um, tongue tongue the scepter. Okay, you tongue the scepter. That great. Okay. Uh, that hits. This yeah. 
cute. <laughs> All right, yeah. that that hits. Roll damage. Er, to, okay, roll me to. Yeah, you grab. Okay, so grapple check for the scepter against uh, against be, uh, comic. Medic. Uh, I don't think it's good. Okay, so with that. Yeah, you've got the scepter, and uh, Kalmi does not look happy. <laughs> Can I swallow it? Sure. Swallow it, and uh, roll me on your wild magic surge table. Because <laughs> it's a magical item. You just swallowed You just swallowed a freaking scepter. My whole jungle. Come on. Why is it... Usually the things you eat aren't so co uh, compact full of magic, Yoshi. Bear with me here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 90, uh, six. Um, vulnerable to piercing damage for the next minute. Great. Because comic is known for piercing damage. Everybody knows that. <laughs> I, I told you I was going to be putting everything in my mouth. Okay, sounds good. Is that in your turn, Yoshi? <laughs> yep. <laughs> DK, you're up. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to assume that a 8th level Barbarian has more than one Rage, and as a bonus action, I'm going to go into Rage, and yeah. I'm going to dash to her. Okay. And as uh, an addition to dashing more than 20 feet, I get to make an attack. These hands, you. Catching these hands. That does hit. Okay. You're just giving comic these hands, and comic looks very, very frustrated, coughing, having another cut, another coughing fit as it's just being whacked by you. And I'm, I'm like, not intentionally, but not unintentionally putting myself between her and them. Okay. Oh, and, uh, also, I would like her to be, like, not affected by the other thing. Never mind. Okay. Alright. Drat. So, you may or may not have taken Comic's Arcane Focus, but Comic has a component pouch just in case stuff like this happens. <laughs> You notice as comic. Let's see. What is this? Okay. Okay. Because comic casts time stop. Yeah. Is this a reaction? Okay, yeah, roll... I need you to roll it at least a 19, so... To cancel out the spell, so roll DC 10 plus the spell's level, so roll me with your charisma. D20 plus your charisma, try to cancel the spell. Oh my god. D20 plus charisma... <laughs> No, darn oh. it. Time stops, but none of you really notice as Comic gets to take two turns unperturbed by all of you. Um, makes a judgment call to go try and get Princess Peach. And none of you would really see what happens, but Comic would frantically rush back toward the portal and disappear. Shoot, wrong, wrong thing. Hang on. Dang it. So, comic oh God, disappears to the portal. Sorry, McKenzie. I tried. Okay. <laughs> okay. But the portal remains. And we're gonna come back on, um, on Yoshi's turn. Oh, actually, we'll come back on Daisy's turn. And Daisy, 
everyone comes back to you and you look and you see the comic is gone, but there's still this giant mysterious portal. Daisy, you are muted. Do I need to make an intelligence check on the portal? Because it, 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 would it look familiar to me at all? Would I be in character used to porting from here to there? Um, roll me an arcana check because this is something that I, I'm not sure you've seen before. Yep. Done. You look at this portal and you can't really make sense of it. It doesn't look like anything you've really seen before. I think I'll charge up to it, but then slow down and be cautious and confused, but furious as to what's happened and like resisting the urge to destroy part of Peach's house and just vented rage. Okay. So with that, we'll save Rudder Combat as you're all trying to make sense of this portal. And oh, uh, if we're okay. if we're out of uh, turn order, Luigi's gonna run towards it, and I go, Mario! Isn't Princess Peach in the portal? No, Peach is right here. Oh. Rem remember, Yoshi swallowed her to protect her. Almost swallowed her to protect her. Okay. So, um... Is Mario through oh, the portal? I get that one confused, too. I thought she got... She took her in the, in the time stop. No, she said that she was thinking about it, but you guys don't know what Comic heard, so Comic rushed and left. Okay, I oh, thought I that she had taken. Okay. Yeah, sorry. So uh, Luigi's not going to jump through then. He's just going to run up to it and be like, Mario! Mario, are you in there? Luigi! Luigi! <gasps> Luigi! Oh uh, bleh. <laughs> bleh, bleh. You hear Mario, Mario distantly calling out to you. And when you Wait. look in the portal, Luigi, you see Mario being pulled away by something bigger than him. I would like to try to uh, vacuum him back. You go to vacuum, roll to vacuum the portal. Um, so if it's the poltergeist, it's this. Um, oh my God. Okay, so you go to the portal and you're just, you're trying to, and you're, you kind of, because the poltergeist is, is attuned to work to be like, to be effective against booze, you're just pulling, you're just pulling, bless you, towards you. It's not really having an effect otherwise. Oh, someone do something, Yoshi, eat Mario. Mario's been pulled away from the portal view. <laughs> And then it just goes into this red, this kind of moving flame looking portal. I go look at the portal, but I don't see Mario, so I can't stick my tongue out of him. <laughs> Do you want to stick your tongue out of the portal? And see no, what I, I can't. Um, no. I Donkey Kong! Throw a banana Mario. through! <laughs> I love this tongue. What that mouth do, Yoshi? <laughs> okay, so what's everyone else doing? I mean, Peach, for one thing, you're safe, but there's a giant portal in your bedroom. Uh, I am. I have crawled my way across my floor to the to the door here, and I just have my back against it, and I'm shaking. But hitching your dress up at the same time, or? Nope. She's crawling <laughs> undignified in her dress. Nice. <laughs> What's everyone else doing about this? Oh, I'm competitive, but I'd be over supporting Peach because she looks traumatized and I wouldn't want to start freaking out. And so I'd be over you're, there. You're I'd coming over to Mario, so he would probably be over here. Looking through. Okay. As much so as I'd be angry, I'd be worried. I'd be worried about Paige. Okay. 
Um, Yoshi, Luigi, roll me Arcana checks to try to make sense of this. BK, you can too if you want to. I mean, okay. Okay, it's a giant red purple. Oh my like, god. <laughs> there's a fire in the middle of the room you can't make sense of. Yoshi, I, it doesn't look I'm so like... scared of the red circle that I threw my barrel in it. And then you your... forgetting what the red circle is, worried about barrel, I run in for it. <laughs> oh, oh, so no! Donkey Kong goes to the portal. Uh, yeah. Yoshi, it, does, it doesn't look like you can eat that, but you notice as Donkey Kong goes through, you could probably walk through that as well. Luigi, you yes, don't I'm think- I'm a spellcaster with a minus two to an Okay, yeah. so... Yoshi, you kind of are curious, you go look through it, and you let yourself in, because you see Donkey Kong go through, you're like, Oh, you can walk through it, it's probably fine. <sighs> Luigi, you want to go through the portal? You can tell it's okay. No! Yoshi! Yoshi! Mario! No! <laughs> Do you go in after them? I jumped through trying to grab Yoshi. You jump? Okay, so they're all through. Daisy, Peach, they've all gone through the portal. What are you doing? I look, I look like I'm supporting Peach and say, we've got to help our friends. We've got to do the right thing here, Peach. I know it's traumatic. Let's do this together and grab her hand. I will begrudgingly but willingly follow Daisy. But she I'm, I'm gonna, shaking. I'm gonna try and clean her up so that she doesn't have the Oshi slobber too much over her, so that she's looking pretty as she enters the weird little stupid portal thingy. So okay. she's got some dignity. A slight amount of dignity left <laughs> before he just get you just get shot. You may be slobbery, but you're not kidnapped. I, I I appreciate that. Thank you, Daisy. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so everyone's making their way through this very, very weird portal. Um, contrary to how, to how it looks, it doesn't actually burn to walk through. You just... As you're going through it, it's almost like it's almost like you've made your way through like a galaxy as you're just wandering through trying to make sense of things and you're almost falling into a direction that you can't make sense of. And none of this really looks familiar to you as you're falling through. First of all, you start by falling through the sky and the clouds and you're looking down and you don't really have this clear understanding of everything happening around you. It's just, it's a very confusing experience. So you guys want to explain what happens as you see all these things pass you by? Is there anything, anything I can eat? <laughs> you can try to reach for the stars if you want, Yoshi. <laughs> try, but obviously not with a dirty feet. Look! Luigi's flying! <laughs> You're all flying together, Luigi. You're all just floating through space together. But, but I'm is... winning at flying. Right? I'm still winning at flying, because I'm fair. Peach is holding out her dress. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're all flying well, but I'm still flying better. I'm flying more gracefully. It's awesome. I'm falling through space. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so with that, as you all are falling through, all of a sudden you see a light at the end of this. It's dimly lit, where you hear voices, you see people walking around. You see two individuals who are, one scratching their head, trying to make sense of things. The other one looks more composed and is trying to help calm the other one down. But there's a tall individual, silver hair, dressed in very bold colors, pointed ears, blue eyes, one very short who's just sitting there with this wise and look on their face as if everything's going to work out but you're really not they, they don't seem entirely sure and all of a sudden 
You appear in the guild hall in front of Takarov and Delric, who look at you very, very surprised. Will Takarov and Delric please take it away and to them? Delric, what have we done? I, I don't know. I thought thought we put the runes down right. I'm not sure what happened. Takarov would like, twist his mustaches and look at everybody. Welcome, adventurers, to the Dungeon Delvers Guild! <laughs> you watch as a centaur comes by to tell you about the newest dragon excursion that took place in the mountains <sighs> north of Daria. It's an outdated token, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, Sajeda. Tell tell them what you found. So I have a, I have a quick question. Do me and Yoshi now speak Slaven? Slaven. Mm, like, yeah. I have a you can speak I Slaven. have a heard reports to all of the from the dwarves of the north that there is a gigantic uh, uh, ancient white dragon that is that is uh in taking that is blackmailing them or in taking their much of their mine or their what's wrong, much of their ore and minerals from the north. I intend to go investigate it. But I shall send word if, to the guild if I am needed if I need help. Do you also remember Sajeta that there was this other weird draconic presence you sent? It had red hair, a greenish face horns. It was built like a turtle, but it felt like a dragon. You've never seen anything like it before. Oh, okay. I, we had uh, talked about this before, and I was surprised you were bringing it to dead end, but like, like... Sorry. There was a strange dragon that uh, strange dragon that came through. It seemed to be a oh. turtle. Cross between a turtle, but not in the ocean. All of you would know that this sounds like Bowser, so if you want to interject politely with Delric Talker on the There's been a new threat to the land. You must be the heroic adventurers we, look, said Delric, summoned. Delric's, Delric's in the back doing uh, air quotes as soon as Talker says summon, summoned. What are the rest they of you? They look said? very unsure of themselves. We said to if we were to trust such young uh, such young cults to uh, this new dragon threat. Oh, by the way, guys, you've never seen a centaur before. Look at the centaur. How tall is Sajeta? Nine feet? I just assumed it was something Yoshi Nine... had eaten halves of and squashed together. Nine feet eight inches. Nine feet eight inches. Okay. Um, Peach is going to very, like, gingerly walk up to Sajetta. <laughs> Good. May I help you, two legs? Uh, uh, she kind of, like, looks down at her dress that is touching the floor. It's like, oh, it's very nice of you to know that I have two legs. Um, it, uh, pray tell, uh, she kind of like looks at your horse body and then looks at your torso and then your horse body and then looks up at your torso and then at your face and goes, Sir? <laughs> like, unsure of how to properly address you. Um, you said that there was a turtle but dragon sort of being that is here wherever here is. Um, what direction? Uh, would you say that is? It was uh, up near my home in the north. I keep a small uh, tannery and leather uh, leatherworking shop in the city of. Oh, why am I blanking on the name? Stonehill. Col no. The uh, what's the city that Adrian does all the stuff in? Stonehill. Stonehill. Okay. Sorry, I was not expecting to get there tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a, a portal, red portal up in near Stonehill when I was out gathering materials for my leather shop. 
the most unusual dragon I have ever seen appeared. I tracked it for a short way, but then it disappeared into the mountain. Oh. Let's say for fun, to to just add uh, a flair to this, um, someone else also walks by and, and notices the whole commotion. Um, let's see. Someone else walks by and notices the commotion. It is a pink tiefling with horns. What would Farah notice first? <laughs> Probably someone else in pink. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, like, how cartoony are they still? Like, are they converted to actual, like, adventurer-looking people? Or are they still <laughs> their right total now, animated the, cartoons? The the only one who looks really out of place is Donkey Kong because nobody else here is a giant ape. Yoshi looks like a lizard folk. Looks human. No, yeah, Peace looks human, Daisy looks human, and Luigi looks human, but they are dressed very peculiar for the region, and they have this visible look of, I don't know where I am. Yoshi, um, looks around at the bar and try and, um, gets a, a, see someone carrying a drink on a platter. And takes the drink in his mouth, or cup and all. Oh my god. Uh, let's, yeah, so that happens. Uh, the barkeep looks at you very confused and did not expect the lizard folk to just shoot out their tongue and handle something so effortlessly. Uh, Has also, anyone seen him, my brother Mario? Also, this war forge looks so over the situation with the lizard folk with the giant tongue, which they've never seen before. What does Raylo process with this? He also turns black when he eats the drink. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Ella, what do you make of the situation? Oh jeez, Rayla's here. Oh god, um, <laughs> Rayla is like blowing sparks right now. Like, <laughs> like multiple hues. Like she is not even computing what is going on right now. Like she is trying to render their lower pixel rate, and it's like blowing her mind. Oh, that's fun. All right, so Takarov, needless to say, it looks like they're up to helping. So maybe you should take them to your office and explain the situation with Delric. Indeed. He would do so. Before we wrap it up, let's hear from a fair Peach interaction and then see how everybody feels about the situation and then we'll, we'll end part one. <laughs> so... Farah is walking through the bar and then stops seeing something as pink as her, nearly as pink as her, and kind of turns in just shock. And the two of them make eye contact and don't really say anything, but there's like a nod of like acknowledgement of the presence of pink before Farah just gives like a, a like a little bit more of a firm nod, which is meant with Peach, and then Farah goes to leave. She's carrying like um. She's carrying, like, a bag full of mail. And half of it as some of the letters as she, like, fights to put some of the letters back in. Half of it says to, to Farah and half of it says to Felix. <laughs> She's carrying it out. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... So, this man who... They've actually not introduced themselves at all, have they? Where are your manners, Tucker Hub and Delric? Well, I am... Taco, the guild master. This is the Dungeon Delvers Guild, and you're probably the. You're tasked with going to fight the new monster. That's why you've been brought here. Yes. Sorry for the the circle. It looked fine on on our end. I, I assure you. It's. I do this all the time. It's nothing new. I am. Um, I'm Delric Nightgale. I'm in charge of potions and lotions, where we sell potions and lotions. So make sure you come by, say hi, spend some gold. Um, but 
Yeah, we really need your help with this because this is weird. Can right, Luigi, I... like, just start shouting for Mario and looking around in the rest of the building? <laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> and then if Takarov, like, invites them all to his office to discuss further matters, oh, Luigi yeah. would, would go because he seems to be the one in charge. Okay, so everyone's following Takarov and Delric to, to, to Takarov's office. What are all your closing thoughts as we end this first session with you in a world you've, you've never seen before? <laughs> we never got what? cake. <laughs> That's Yoshi's takeaway. Where's the cake? No! It's still in the kitchen! Oh god! Where's the kitchen? It's gone. <laughs> in all fairness, there might be an orc in there we could ask for cake. A half orc. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I think he's full orc. Never mind. Take that back. <laughs> Alright, what are the rest of you thinking? Uh, Luigi has a total 100% dedication to go find Mario. And then he looks over at Peach like, I guess she didn't go out with my brother. Hmm. We'll have to do a little bit more work on the sides. Oh my god. Best wingman. I would say for right. Peach, she's probably like really blown away. This is nothing of what she's used to. So she's like, gingerly picking up her dress and following behind um, Takarov into the office. She's like barely paying attention to what's going on in front of her because she's taking in all the new sights and sounds and smells. And she saw someone who, instead of being dressed in pink, was pink, which is. <laughs> Very different in comparison to her dress is pink, but the shared acknowledgement of the amazingness that is pink is, you know, it's a no hey, respectful look. nod to each other. <laughs> oh, yeah. Takarov is toad. Basically. A, a toad with a bushy mustache and a man wearing a lot of colors. With pointy ears. With pointy ears. Alright, what about uh, DK and Daisy? DK feels really out of place right now, and it's just kind of like keeping to, keeping to himself, and just like listening to his EP on his boombox. <laughs> and Daisy? Daisy's happy that Peach is safe and concerned about Mario, but super focused on... Uh, Working out what's going on in this new world to get Mario safe and everyone back to playing tennis because she missed her victory lap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, so you all make your way into Takarov's office as the curtain closes. And we'll say for fun in the background, Farah, bump, Farah finds Felix while carrying this big bag of envelopes. Farah, do you want to tell Felix what just happened? Felix, you're not going to believe it. But I just Trust me, Farah, you're not going to believe all I have to tell you either. Perfect, but let me start because this is kind of weird. Um, I just saw somebody who, dare I say, has as much pink as me. Oh, that's impossible. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I, you know, I see, I told you it'd be hard to believe, but I'm, I'm not going to lie. I think I might need to tone myself down a bit. <laughs> Felix would like to sneak over to the office and pull out his magnifying glass and crack the door open and look inside. We'll save for fun. We'll save for fun. Felix can for a few moments before Delbert tells you to leave. Yeah, he just slowly closes the door. <laughs> well, Farah, you've been outdone. And then uh, he's going to go over, pick up a letter that fell on the floor, put it on top of her stack of mail, pat her on the shoulder, and then leave the guild hall. Get back here! Oh Half these letters are yours! And Farrah's chasing him out. He's running. <laughs> oh my god. She's trying to keep up with him, juggling all the mail. And with that, we will end session one of the journey to Urden. 
part two is where all the combat happens, in case you hadn't noticed. I hope this roleplay session was as fun for you to do as it was for me to sit here and listen to. Yay! That was great. That was fantastic. Very yeah, cool, Katie. I was not expecting you to... I was not expecting to be bringing in all the characters, but... That was fun. That was very fun. All right. That being said, I think this is a wonderful way to end the session. So everybody say goodbye to YouTube. Bye, Happy YouTube. Dungeon Delving. Happy Dungeon Delving. Bye, YouTube. Happy Dungeon Delving, everyone.